Lavner from Nexus and Company working as an intern. Today I'll be talking about arbitrators. First is the appointment. They can be appointed by the parties who repose confidence in them. Generally chartered accounts, company secretaries, engineers, retirees, and other professionals are preferred. If the arbitration agreement is silent in this respect, arbitral tribunal shall consist of the sole arbitrator. And if there are three arbitrators, each party will appoint one and the third will be the presiding arbitrator. Now, duties and responsibilities of arbitrators. They should give the parties the reference of fair opportunity to remain present in the tribunal either in person or through their authorized representative. They must not receive information from one side which is not disclosed to the other. They must not be disinterested and unbiased. It is a private tribunal for the redressal of the disputes. Now, disclosure by the arbitrator. Section 12 provides that the arbitrator, before accepting his appointment, shall disclose in writing to the parties such matters as are likely to give rise to justifiable doubts about his, about his independence and impartiality. The Amendment Act of 2016 has inter- inserted six schedule to the Act, which provides a format of the disclosure. Considering the jurisdiction of the arbitrators, an arbitration clause which forms part of the contract will be treated as an agreement independent of other terms of contract. A decision by the arbitral award that the contract is null and void will not entail its so due the invalidity of the arbitration clause. Removal of the arbitrator. The appointment of an arbitrator may be challenged only if the circumstances exist that give rise to justifiable grounds as to his independence or impartiality. He does not possess the qualification agreed to by the parties. An arbitrator has to disclose his interest in writing. The remuneration of arbitrators. As per the normal practice, the remuneration is decided in the first meeting by the appointment. Under Section 31, unless and otherwise agreed by the parties, the cost of an arbitrator shall be fixed by the arbitral tribunal. The tribunal shall specify the parties entitled to cost, the parties who shall pay the cost, the amount of cost or method of determining the amount, the manner in which the cost shall be paid. The statement of claim and defenses. Within every period or the period determined by tribunal, the claimant shall state the facts supporting his claim. And the last is the conducting of the arbitral proceedings and giving of the arbitral award in writing with the reasons.